everyone, Kevin Elizabeth here. I'm a wedding photographer based in San Diego, and today I'm going to be talking all about why I love shooting film photography. People don't know that I shoot film um, because it's just not something that they consider. Some people know immediately I shoot film because it is in my Instagram bio, it's on my website, I'm tagging my film lab and all my photos. And you might be wondering like, what even is film? So I literally mean old school film. So right here, I have my film camera. This is a Contact 645 and it actually shoots on old school film. So I pop this guy out and I put my film in it, put it in here, snap it, and it rolls the film and I get 16 photos per roll. So you might be saying, well, why in the world do you do that if there's digital photography? Well, I actually did learn on digital photography and I didn't even start shooting film until I think December 2016. So I've been shooting it for almost four years now. And it's just to me something that I have truly fallen in love with. But before I get into why, I want to preface that there are blogs and photographers and people out there who will say that one is better than the other. So digital versus film. I don't think that's true. I think it comes down to the personal preference of the photographer, how they like to shoot. And I do think that film and digital have their places in a wedding day where they can really shine. So for me, it's all about using the best tool for the job. Whenever I can shoot film, I will shoot film. But if I need my digital and I think that my digital camera is going to be a better tool for the job, I will absolutely grab that tool. So first off, I want to explain how do you turn in film photography to a digital photo? Because most of my Instagram, like I said, is film. The photos on my website are predominantly film. So what I actually do is I ship my film off to a film lab called Goodman Film Lab in Irvine because they're really close to me. So the shipping is quick. I don't have to worry about delays and they actually develop it and then they scan it into a digital file on an incredible scanner. And then I get my digital file sent back to me of my film scans. So essentially it does become a digital file, but it was produced on film. And then what I actually do is I edit my digital photos from my actual digital camera to match the film because I want my entire gallery to be cohesive. Now you might be asking, well, why aren't you just shooting all film? Well, for me, I find that film works best when I have more light. If I'm realizing that my light is too low in a situation for my film, then I'm going to switch to digital. Or if I'm in an extremely fast paced environment where things are happening really quickly, I want my digital camera because it's got better autofocus. My film camera does mostly manual focus. Mine actually does autofocus pretty well, but sometimes I do have to manual focus and that can take longer than a digital camera, which is typically really quick to autofocus. So there are situations where one tool is the better tool for the job, but again, none is better than the other. So I have seen digital photographers who only shoot digital write blogs about why film is bad. I don't know why they care. Maybe they feel threatened by film photographers in their area and people are finding themselves attracted to that look. Maybe they just hate it for some reason. I personally don't care enough either way to spew out hate on one or the other. But I've also on the flip side seen film photographers say flat out that film is better. And oddly enough, I have seen wedding planners who will tell their brides to pick film because film is better. It's very strange to me. Again, I think it's personal preference. One is not better than the other. Film is more expensive, which is kind of a con, but the thing that I love about film is that because it is more expensive and it's slower to shoot, I am focusing more on creating the perfect picture rather than with digital, you can just snap, snap, snap away. It does become really easy to just overshoot. So when I have my film photos, I actually find that I have more keepers than my digital because I'm shooting more intentionally. And I like that. And for me, that has even made me more intentional with my digital shooting because I don't love coming home and culling through so many more photos than I really have to. I would rather have a higher percentage of winners than have a lot of rejects because I was just not shooting intentionally. When it does come to film and why I love shooting film, I, again, I love the intentional aspect of it where it makes me slow down. And I also really love the way that my film images come out. 
for me, I find that there is this really hard to describe, to put into words, feeling that I get from looking at my film images. It's like they have more depth to them. So if I shoot the same subject side by side with a film and a digital, I usually prefer my film. Again, it's got that depth. I love the grain. It's not going to be tack sharp always like digital is, but I don't really love that super tack sharp look. My husband did and he wanted us to have a photographer who shot film and digital because he loves those tack sharp photos. I love more of the mood and the aesthetic and the vibe that the images give off. And for me, film really fits that very dreamy and romantic look that I love in my work. And so my digital work sometimes just can feel a little bit too flat to me when I'm seeing the film next to it. So I typically will shoot one or the other. My second photographer might be shooting digital while I'm shooting film, but I like to produce a full series on one medium because I don't love having to match the digital to the film. It can get really tedious. And again, I love my film photos. But what I really love my digital for is reception. When it gets dark and I'm working with my flash and it's just quick, it focuses much better in the dark than my own eye would be able to do on my film camera. So that is one thing that I really love my digital for is reception stuff, especially because things on the dance floor can get crazy. Sometimes I'm holding the camera above my head, just trying to get the right shot. And I can take 20 photos on that for free essentially and get that one killer shot in a very hard to control situation. Whereas my film camera, no, I wouldn't do that. Maybe for the couple's dance where it's a more controlled environment, but for crazy open dancing with all the guests, I love that fast, quick digital. So that's pretty much the bulk of it. I just personally prefer film. I love the grain. I love the romance of it. I love the depth. I love the fact that it feels more like an old school piece of art to me because again, it is a very intentional process and I love the feeling of rolling up my film roll and then getting it ready to ship out. I love that. I also really like that I can't see the photos on the back of the camera after I've taken them with film. So I have to wait a week or two for those to come back and then it's like a surprise. I'm like, oh, these are super beautiful. Like I forgot I shot that. It's not that instant gratification and I really do appreciate that. I also like that people can't bug me for same day sneak peeks because I can't give them because I shot them all on film and I can't do that in my house. So I kind of like that too. It teaches people to slow down and appreciate the art that they're going to receive. So that's essentially it. When you are searching for a photographer, you might find that you don't really care or maybe you don't even notice the difference. I think that the focus should be more on the photographer's portfolio and what their overall look is like rather than what medium they shoot. So you as the client, you never wanna to get to a place where you're dictating to the photographer what they should shoot with because it is their job to make those decisions. They are the experts, they know what tool is going to work best. But if you find yourself drawn to somebody who happens to be a film photographer, that's really great. Go with that. If you find that you're not really drawn to that aesthetic, then go with an all digital photographer. Most film photographers are some combination of hybrid, meaning that they're not usually all film. There are a couple who are really close to all film, but most film photographers have some sort of a range. Maybe they're 80% film, 20 digital, maybe they're 50-50. So it's all a mix. And at the end of the day, clients should not really be able to tell the difference in their final gallery between which is film and digital. Comment down below if you guys have started to notice things like this, or if you had no idea that people even still shot film. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, but I thought it would just be a good idea to do this video because I don't think I've ever really talked about film on my channel, but that is mostly what I shoot these days. So any photos that I've put up in this video are all film, other than maybe some crazy dance floor photos. You guys can take a peek. Again, you might not see a difference, but for me, I shoot what I love and I find that what I love most in most scenarios Areas are my film photos. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today. Just a little, I don't know, educational video, like a look into the photography world of weddings these days. Leave a like if you did enjoy this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!